My name is Augie Hurst, and this is the Aug Vlog. Today I'm starting a new video series called Bighorn or Bust. I have a fly fishing trip planned for the Bighorn River. I've been out there a couple times already, uh, 2009, 10, and 11. No, wait, let's go see. I gotta double check. Behind me here is my uh, wall of fame. This reminds me of all the trips I've been on and what years I've been on which trip. So uh, the key to the years I've been to the Bighorn already is just right behind me. So 2010 was my first year out on the Bighorn. This is uh, the very first brown I caught on the Bighorn River. My buddy Eric Weller, the same year on that first trip out to the Bighorn, here we doubled up right out of the boat. We were nymphing. Uh, This here was the second year, uh, 2011. We went out again in November. We had much colder weather. One of my all-time favorite uh, memories on the Bighorn, my buddy Jameson uh, helped me land this 20-plus uh, uh, brown trout. And then I'm pretty sure I went out there three years in a row, so 2010, 2011, and 2012, but I can't seem to find any photos uh, in my uh, layer down here of when I was out there in 2012. But I think right here, that's the group. No date on this picture, but I am certain that this was the third year in a row that we went out to the Bighorn uh, 2012. Uh, there I am uh, right there. And then uh, we had seven guys uh, that week. So uh, those are the three years that I was out. This was the first year out on the Bighorn, 2010. There was just four of us, 2000 and 11 we added two to the group and 2012 we had a total of seven now this year's trip to the bighorn is still somewhat undecided we have the dates we know we're going to be leaving november uh, 8th and through november 15th and i know for sure i've got five guys so far committed to the trip uh, we obviously need a six guy to commit to the trip here real soon so that we can fill up two two boats with three guys it's time to get ready to start thinking about the Bighorn, but there's one thing in front of me first. I'm going on vacation this week with my family. You know what that means. It means I'm gonna have to take my vice on vacation. Now, when you take your tying vice on vacation, you gotta be really specific and very particular about what you take. I can't take all of my fly tying stuff, so I have to, to think purposefully about which pattern or patterns do I wanna tie. Probably going to tie three patterns this week, and so I'm going to just take some time now and gather all my stuff up. Uh, but the three patterns are... Well, of course the three patterns are gonna be streamer patterns because I do love stripping junk. And so uh, heading out to the Bighorn, um, I've got one particular streamer uh, that I'm gonna tie. Uh, you've probably never heard of it. It's uh, custom made by uh, the guy who first took me out to uh, the Bighorn River, uh, Charlie Stevens. And Charlie has this little fly, he calls it the Charlie Special. And uh, this thing is deadly in November on the Bighorn. It's just basically this little tiny rabbit strip with some dumbbell eyes, a little bit of flash underneath, and some rubber legs. It's got a real thin, slender profile. Uh, the second pattern that I'm going to take with me to tie up is probably my all-time favorite pattern to tie and fish with. It's my favorite streamer uh, anywhere, whether I'm fishing western Pennsylvania, the Madison River out west, or the Bighorn River. Wherever I go, I always have um, a good supply um, of the, here it is here, you got to see it, the butt monkey. Now this is a black one. I don't often use a black one, but I'm all out of all of butt monkeys, and so i got to tie up uh, at least a dozen of those. And then the last pattern that I'm going to uh, take with me, hopefully I get to this. Um, I've been uh, wanting to down to tie this pattern for almost over a year now, uh, almost two years now. I was out fishing the Flint River uh, for smallmouth uh, with Schultz Outfitters and they turned me on to a fly called the Game Changer. Now this here is a game changer, traditional game trade changer, if you can call it traditional. Uh, but it, you know, it's got the hackle, it's got the flash, it's real, uh, it's got all of the uh, articulated spines in there. Uh, but I want for the Bighorn, I'm going to modify this pattern a little bit and I'm going to take out the flash and I'm only going to use just white hackle because I want it to be as slender and slim as possible. 
So that's the plan for taking my vice on vacation. I'm going to gather up my materials. We're going to be heading out here in just about 30 minutes and hopefully by evening tonight um, I'll have the vice all set up and I'll be in um, to tie in because it is bighorn or bust. Hooks. Bigger hooks, cone heads, and dumbbell eyes. Tools. Isn't it awesome how all these tools fit perfectly in the post fly boxes? Man, I've got so many use for these awesome post fly boxes. Time to pick out the materials. I got all my materials stacked here behind my bar. Uh, by the way, I call this the Taiwan on bar. And uh, I got to pick out, let's see here, I got to find my. Uh, butt monkey box and one of the things that I do is I just keep all the materials needed for butt monkeys all in the same box So anytime I want to go somewhere and just tie for the weekend um, I can just grab this thing and some hooks my vice and my tools and I'm set to, I'm set to go Well, I got everything packed up and I'm ready to go but somehow some way in doing all this packing and bending I threw out my back Darn it. Oh well, like I said, it's big horn or bust. Might have forgot one thing to go with my vice on vacation. Well, there's another thing I found that I forgot. As I was walking out, getting ready to turn the lights out, I realized I gotta grab my clicks. All right, uh, the back's loosening up just a little bit, but it's still tight. My goodness. But uh, time to pack up, and go on vacation. Got the vice. Got my beverages. Got my backpack. All right, we're all packed up, ready to go on vacation. The vice is packed. Thanks for watching. And keep an eye out for episode two, Bighorn or Bust.